week six of our Hug Your Home Challenge. Today, we're organizing the bathroom. Just like always, I'm gonna put a link down below so you can download this free checklist to follow along. So we've already decluttered the bathroom and this week it's all about organizing it, but not going crazy Pinterest, crazy pants. We are just spending under $30 in under 30 minutes to hug our home. This is real life. So I want you to start by getting some drawer dividers, some dollar store drawer dividers, taking everything out and putting it back in a really clean, organized manner. This is gonna take you just a few minutes and it is going to have a huge impact on your drawers. Next, we're gonna contain all of our bathroom clutter in containers, which is why they call them containers, because they contain the clutter. And it doesn't matter what style you are, you can find clear ones or ones with lid, but I want you to sort your products into like items and put them in containers. I am filling this basket with toilet paper and putting it on the back of the toilet because my kids are incapable of changing the toilet paper roll. So when it's like one inch away, hopefully they have no excuse. I want you to contain in containers, I'm gonna say contain in containers a lot right now. We have one bathtub in this house. We have three showers, but only one bathtub. So this, it gets a lot of use and I need more storage in it. So I want you for this challenge to create some more storage in your shower, in your bathtub area. And it's so easy to do. I just used a dollar store curtain rod, some curtain rings and baskets to contain all the kids' toys. You can also use this and fill it with all your bathroom products. And I picked up a shower caddy for just a few dollars from the dollar store to contain all of the bottles that always like fall off and end up in the bottom of the tub. For just a few dollars, you can totally increase your storage inside your shower or bathtub. Next, I want you to totally make your bathroom like a relaxing oasis by creating a spa basket or a pamper basket. I want you to gather all your favorite products that you have in your bathroom. Maybe it's bath bombs, bubble baths, smelly lotions, and contain it all to one basket. Add some soft face cloths or a loofah. I want you to pretend that this is a fancy hotel bathroom and treat yourself. We need to pamper ourselves. So because this is Izzy's bathroom, I'm making a pamper basket just for her so she can relax at the end of a hard day when she's 12 and she doesn't have a hard day, but if you talk to her, every day is hard. Being a teenager is rough, isn't it? Wait till she's an adult. And last but not least, now it's makeover time. This is my favorite part. We are going to hug the crap out of this bathroom because I want it to feel spa-like. And you don't have to spend a lot of time or money to make this happen. Freshen up with new towels. Treat yourself to a new shower curtain or a pretty blind in your bathroom. It's not about spending money. It's not about renovating. It's about hugging your space. And I'm so excited with just a little bit of money about the transformation we made in Izzy's bathroom. It was dark and dungeony. One trip to the store, I had a gift card for Christmas, didn't spend a lot, and it's so brighter and more beautiful. Do this to your bathroom because you deserve it. Hug your bathroom today. watching don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up I have no idea why we have to like videos <laughs> people say it I don't know if it makes a difference do it anyways and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week for our next hug your home challenge see you then so thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end so there's like some stuff going on in my life and I'm feeling a little insecure and uh, we're gonna get to that another day so I thought I would share something with you that I'm hoping you're gonna feel inspired but it's Cassie's life lesson time uh, here's the thing I get a lot of emails from you guys emailing me to say how I'm brave or I inspire you because I put myself on the internet despite what I look like and can I just say that's a really backhanded compliment we're just gonna start there it upsets me because 
it's kind of not a nice thing to say. You can't say to someone, you, you're so brave for being ugly and still going outside. But also, it upsets me more because they feel that way. They feel like they can't have a YouTube channel or put themselves on Facebook or even take a selfie without a filter because they don't fit some sort of mold. And I want to encourage you to really stop thinking that way. I want you to think of all the women who really inspire you and the women who inspire me like Oprah, Martha Stewart, Rachel Ray, people who it's not about their appearance. We don't follow people because they are great or they look great. We follow people who make us feel great about ourselves. And I guarantee that you have a passion, something that you can share with the world. And I don't want you and your insecurity about your appearance to stop you from doing that. You're amazing. Doesn't matter what you look like. You are amazing and gorgeous just the way you are. So put yourself out there. Be confident. Take a selfie without a freaking filter and own that. So if I'm inspiring you looking like this and still putting myself on the internet, whatever it takes, man, I want you to feel confident in yourself. I want you to take that from this, that women, we don't judge each other based on that. We judge each other based on our personality and our intelligence and our passions in life. So inspire someone today. I'll see you next time.